Well, you have already mentioned that uh, under RCEP, sensitive agricultural products such as rice, wine meat, sugar, etc., are excluded from the tariff commitment for the lowering of uh, tariff. Uh, in fact, for RCEP, more agricultural tariff lines were excluded from tariff commitments compared to the what we already have, the ASEAN Trade in Goods Agreement under our uh, Association of Southeast Asian Nation. So, in, in that sense, our uh, farmers that are uh, stealing uh, rice lands, corn lands, you know, and raising hogs uh, will not be meeting competition, uh, open competition with, with imports uh, of the products they produce because the protective tariffs that these uh, cultural commodities enjoy will stay. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sec, so I understand that uh, we're not really too worried about the uh, about the local farmers, no? Kasi nga, may protection against, and uh, may protection mm -hmm. yung mga rice farmers, mga corn farmers. But I'm just wondering, kasi syempre this is heavily um, heavily dependent on yung supply chain management, yung inventory. Eh, usually nagkakaproblema nga po tayo dun, di ba? Especially in the agriculture sector. Mm -hmm. Na, remember the, the the whole sugar fiasco, di ba? Some say, oh, mm -hmm. may shortage tayo. Some say, wala man tayong shortage. Are we ready for this? Kaya kaya na ba nang ano handle yung supply chain well, management at inventory? At the start of the program, you were talking about digitalization uh, that's being implemented by the government. We hope to be able to extend the digitalization process to the monitoring of uh, supply and demand of uh, agricultural commodities, particularly those uh, food items that are staple for Filipino families. All right, uh, Secretary Pasqual, um, another safeguard that you have put in place, this was, I believe, developed by your department, uh, this mechanism called the unwarranted import surge. Uh, can you tell us more yeah. about this? Is this, is this a, an app? Is this some sort of... Yeah, uh, we, have, yeah. We, have launched, we have launched uh, what we call an import surge monitoring system. It's uh, computer-driven or digitally-driven, and uh, we're going to apply AI... Uh, analysis as well. The movement of uh, goods into the country will be monitored. Se selected uh, commodities first, uh, mainly uh, those that are susceptible to uh, the surge of imports. And uh, if there is an abnormal rise or surge in import of uh, certain goods, we will uh, apply the safeguards available under RCEP and or WTO. For example, uh, should there be an instance of an increased import that will threaten the local industry, trade remedies under WTO agreements can still be availed of. In addition, there are also RCEP safeguards to address the uh, said uh, surge uh, what are the safeguards? There is the safeguard measure. RCEP safeguard measure provides for the mechanism uh, that parties can use to address injury or threat of injury to a domestic industry through suspension of further reduction of customs duties or tariff or increase in customs duties, the safeguard tariff, following uh, a surge in imports. Right, Secretary. Uh, uh, there just is also quick... the anti-dumping and countervailing uh, measures. This uh, remedy reaffirms the party's rights under relevant WTO rules. It features the provision that will promote the goals of transparency and due process in trade remedy. All right, Secretary Pascual, uh, just a, a very quick dovetail into that, uh, what you have said so far. Uh, we understand this mechanism that you imposed. Uh, it's created by the Department of Trade and Industry. But when we talk about imports, when we talk about agriculture products, we also involve a lot of other agencies, such as the Bureau of Customs. We now have, of course, a lot of issues on agricultural smuggling. How can we have safeguards against that within mm -hmm. this system that you have put in place? Are you working well, with the system is, is linked with uh, the data of uh, the Bureau of Customs. We have to collaborate with them to make the system work 
effectively and efficiently. Now, with regard to smuggling, again, what government is thinking of is a digital approach to tracking goods that are entering the country. Uh, smuggling happens because there is uh, no transparency in uh, handling of goods entering the country. So if uh, the goods are already pre-recorded and they leave the source and they get here, they will be known to, to everyone uh, that are uh, monitoring the entry of uh, goods to the Philippines. And uh, normally the smuggling that's happening is what we call technical smuggling. Of course, there are also those physical smuggling that happen. But I think most of uh, the smuggling that's happening in our midst is uh, done through uh, the lack of transparency in their entry through customs. Mm -hmm. Yes, sec para lang ano, people will understand no? what exactly are the short term benefits of RCEP and also what are the long term benefits? Well, short term benefits, we see four sectors uh, that will uh, gain or achieve notable improvement in exports. These are electronic equipment, machinery equipment on the non agricultural side. And then there is in agriculture, uh, vegetable, vegetable, fruits and nuts and food, uh, processed foods. Uh, these are the early uh, beneficiaries of uh, RCEP. We've seen this in the experience of uh, Indonesia, uh, Thailand, Vietnam, uh, which uh, uh, joined RCEP uh, a year ahead, more than a year ahead of us. And then in the long run, there will be further uh, uh, gains in the sectors I mentioned. Plus, we see benefits also that will happen in the construction industry, given that uh, we expect the inflow of foreign investments and increase in economic activities due to RCEP. This, uh, we believe, will also positively affect transportation, and uh, that means logistics, and the manufacturing uh, sectors as well, because we expect foreign investors to locate their manufacturing uh, facilities here, especially those coming from outside the RCEP region, so that they can access the countries which are members of RCEP. Mm 